Onyinyechi! Adeze! 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 Ijoma! Um, Ndeo, um, today's video is going to be a little bit different. So, what I'm looking at today is Igbo names. So, I am dressed and I'm going out to meet a lady. And I've got five ladies to meet. Um, all of these ladies are Igbo and they have Igbo names. So I'm going to be talking to them about their names, what it means to them, um, you know, what names they prefer, English names or Igbo names, and just really the significance of having an Igbo name in, you know, in the UK today. Like, what is it like? My name means the first daughter of the king. I mean, my name means daughter of the king. So my name means... Uh, there is a god or godness. Um, it means God's gift, um, appropriate name by my parents, I guess. My name means safe journey. So, EJ, or my safe journey. That's Rachel. No, my parents refused to give us English names. They didn't want us to be integrated in this society. They want us to have real Igbo names to represent where they were from and for us to have an identity as Nigerians. Um, no, actually, my parents weren't very creative in terms of naming me. I have the one name and a couple of surnames and that's it. My name is Judith. I'm, like, I have my middle names, are uh, Gloria and Kimberly, but they're not really, and nobody calls me that. Gloria sounds like, I don't know, an eight-year-old's name. And Kimberly sounds a little bit chubby, so chili. We'll stick with chili. No, in school I didn't answer the name idea, so I answered the name Rachel. Well, other names is Chimsey, and Chimsey is my dad's name for me, because Chimsey in my dad's language is there is a god, or god lives, and he's from River State. Um, I have used the name growing up in school, when I was in primary school, I did to actually say my name was Onyi and I'm Nigerian, you know, going to school with the tread in the hair and then saying, hi, my name is Onyi, hello Onyan, that's basically what I was known as in primary school, Onyan Ugumadu with the snakes in the hair and Onyan was the main one, I didn't really take it out of the home ever since that incident because it was really traumatic. Imagine someone coming up to you calling you Onion when you're just nine years old. It hurts your heart. Oh my God, it was so hard. I didn't want to be bullied. Some African name, I came here with thread in my hair, had an accent, you know, it's been a bit much for everyone to you know, take at once. The Rachel was fine. It was a little bit off-putting, like I used to hate registers, especially when it's like new teachers or a new year in the in the school year, so you'd have new teachers or um, supply teachers, oh my gosh, because they don't know you. So those are really awkward, but you know what, I've gone to, I've learned to go past all of that and you know what, I just get on with life, I correct them as much as I can and I tell people to call me IJ because it makes their life a little bit easier and it's just a little less hassle for me as well. So, yeah. Bend it and then like kind of thread it all up together as a case so it's just a hairstyle but um, nobody really understood in school so they used to call me snake, snake legs or whatever, or spider legs, stuff like that. So that's the snakes. And Medusa, people say I look like um, some rug rat characters. Really funny. I was bullied. Are we gonna really? To be honest, I was more raised in this country, and now that I've gone back to Nigeria and I integrated people that are Nigerian, I feel right in place. I don't feel different, and they correct me sometimes if I'm not pronouncing my name properly. Um, yes, I used the name Adeze when I visited Nigeria because they found it hard to pronounce Rachel because there was killed name so I just said my name is Adeze instead. I think if I'm in a Nigerian setting I quite like the fact that I have my Nigerian name because it just allows me to blend in seamlessly with my people uh, whereas when I'm in a setting with non-Nigerians it's probably a lot easier for me to have a non-Nigerian name probably an English name so it kind of depends I'm a bit sitting on the fence on that one. 
my English name. Christian name is actually Hebrew. So yeah, Judith. Um, I've been given different names since I've been young. From primary school it was Daisy to a Daisy in secondary school. Now it's Ada, <laughs> abbreviation short from Adeze. I was born in Nigeria, but I left there and moved to the UK. So I never actually used the name Adeze in school. I, I was called something else. Uh, Chidi, Chids, Chidster. Uh, I'm a really social, really fun loving person. So people just like make names for me without problem. I'm that kind of gal. It was actually really difficult because the, the teachers didn't actually get to a geoma. It was normally a long pause um, during the register and I'll know that they've gotten to my name when they're stuck. And then they'll start doing things like I, H, 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 I, um, and then I'll just help them out. And so we'll get past it that way because it was just too embarrassing. But yeah, I've gone past that now and most people call me IJ. <laughs> oh, before it was a daisy, daisy, a daisy, all those, you know, horrible names. Idioma. <laughs> <laughs> um, people didn't have probably trouble pronouncing the name Chidi once they told them how to pronounce it, but they have trouble pronouncing it when they see it on paper. So for the British man, Chidi can sometimes translate into Chai Dai or Chai Day. Um, but once they told them it was Chidi, then that was fine. But I had a lot of mispronunciations, um, and I think I'm that character. I'm, I'm very tall, I'm six foot tall, so I don't think anybody could really bully me even if they wanted to. <laughs> um, but I had a lot of mispronunciations, a lot of teasing a little bit, but it was nothing that I couldn't really handle. Um, so yeah, I'm glad I've moved on from all that and people are a little bit more civilised once they're older. <laughs> I don't like the way people pronounce it because the true meaning of the name, it has a strong meaning so when people pronounce it they pronounce it funny so I prefer to be shortened to add up. I think it's just the way that um, the English man is taught to pronounce certain syllables and um, for example if you're gonna say like Chinese Chai so you just think that like, that's how you say um, the first part of my name Chai and then D I think that just kind of bounces off the Chai to make it die or day. To be honest I don't really understand it it's really simple it's five letters but you know <laughs> you work with it. Because it's a name beginning with I and you don't get many names within the English language beginning with I apart from like Ian and it's simply called Iona so with names like that for example Iona is pronounced I you pronounce the I as an I whereas because this is an Igbo name the I is actually pronounced as a E so this is where the two different cultures and languages clash gave me I don't have a choice to be honest but there's a lot of famous people called Judith um, it depends on my environment if I'm in the UK I like Rachel but if I'm in Nigeria I prefer Adeze it's easier for people to pronounce Adeze in Nigeria because that's where I'm from and because they kill Rachel it's like Rachel Rachel I'm like my name is Rachel my name is what Rachel my name is Adeze simple in Nigeria my name is Adeze in UK my name is Rachel done um, no, I'm happy with an Igbo name. I think as you grow up, as you were younger, you were in society, you were raised with different cultures. Okay, certain individuals were ignorant, and if you can pronounce in your neighbours' names, then why can't you pronounce African names? If I had the choice between choosing an English name or an Igbo name for my next life, then it definitely wouldn't be an English name. Like, it's just so boring. I'm quite unique. I'm one of a kind. I'm the only Chidunyachi that's out there that lives in London. And I want to be able people to hear my name and be like, oh, that's quite interesting. Where are you from? I like that. And I just think that because my parents are Igbo, I'm Nigerian, I kind of need to make sure that I have that link and that connection to Nigeria slash Igbo land. Like, say for instance, in your job interview, they're asking you what's your full name, Rachel Adeze in it. They'll be like, Adiz. I said, no, no, no. I said, Rachel Adeze. That's the only other experience I've had but I don't ever use that name. That doesn't exist here. It's just Rachel. Okay. Sometimes uh, I got it confused with Chi Chi Bang Bang. So you remember the childhood movie? 
Um, and so at times I'd be like, it's kind of like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, but you take off the TTY and add the DI. But then I was just like, that's really sad. <laughs> My name's Chitty, you don't have to say it really quickly. It's really easy, it's five letters. I do remember one time I was in secondary school, we had a supply teacher and I was really nervous because I knew for a fact that the moment she gets to my name in a register it was going to be a difficult pronunciation. So I was used to supply teachers um, not pronouncing my name correctly and there was one time and everybody was waiting in a register for my name and I was so embarrassed because she was like, Adda, Adda, Adis, Adda, Adda. Easy, and I was like, Oh my gosh! And everybody burst out laughing. They were like, That's a good one, miss. We've not heard that one, one before, we've not heard that name one before. And I was just like, I can't take this anymore. And then from there, I was just like, Attitude anytime someone pronounced my name before the register, before there was a supply teacher, I would be automatically go to them saying, My name's pronounced a daisy just to fit in. And then when it goes, It's okay, thank you. And then when it goes, There's a daisy, everyone will be looking at them like. And then we go, oh, damn it. Like, sometimes you'll try and, like, meet the supply teacher beforehand, or as they're doing the register, make sure that I sit really closely. So then as they get into my name, you know they're going to get stuck. You'll be like, oh, yes, miss, me, I'm here. So then that way, they don't put you through the embarrassment of mispronouncing your name. So those are some of the tricks that we used to do. <laughs> Actually, it would probably depend on what my husband has to say about it as well but I would not give them solely English names or solely Igbo names I'll definitely do a combination I think we're in that kind of society in that kind of world today where we need to be diverse i.e. having Igbo names but at the same time we need to understand that we need to be moving with the times and also have English names when I have children I'm going to give them English first names the, um, the middle names will be and Yoruba. Definitely Igbo names, definitely. My children will definitely have Igbo names. I would want to give them English names just for the fact that because I didn't get an English name and I would like my child to have something English. But yeah, definitely. First names will definitely be Igbo. They have no choice. <laughs> Me as their mother will make sure that they only have Igbo names. They might have an English middle name, maybe, but they're having no choice. They're going to be called whatever it is that I like. I love the name Chiamaka. I want to call my, my child Chiamaka and possibly the guy to be called Obinna. Plus, when you say like Chiamaka in a Nigerian accent, it sounds fantastic. Chiamaka! Chiamaka! I just, I just love it, you know what I mean? And I can't wait to be able to say that to one of my kids. I mean, if the opportunity comes up for me to actually use my um, native name, my Nigerian name, then I will. I mean, I would like to tell everyone if people could say it and it was understood. I mean, a lot of girls use their Nigerian names, but in my case is my parents gave me the English name first, and so that's what I've grown up as knowing and grown up as using. But I mean, people at work, I've maybe mentioned it once, oh, that my name is Onyi and it means God's gift, but I mean, that's as far as it goes. Um, what I've really noticed is that a lot of Igbo people, generally quite a lot of Nigerians tend to shortcut their names. So for example, Ijama is now IJ, super cool. Um, people who are called Amarachi are now Amy. <laughs> or if you're called Nkechi, you're probably going to shorten your name to NK. So I'm giving you guys tips here. Um, if your name is uh, Nene, you might decide to call yourself Nini, Nini Leaks, hey! <laughs> so things like that and I think it just makes their lives a little bit easier and just trendifies their name and makes them super cool and it kind of disguises where you're from as well and adds a little bit of mystery to you because no one can tell where you're from or where that name's from so yeah, give it a try! Um, right, so this is day five. I've been recording every single day after work. I'm so tired. Um, but today I'm gonna meet the final lady. Uh, Saturday! So yeah, I'm excited. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited to finally finish. And when I get back, I'll let you know how it went. And you know, just, 
other people's opinions about where we come from, why it's important, and you know whether or not Igbo names are still and should still be relevant. So yeah, I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed filming this. It was interesting to get other people's perspective um, and to hear about their experiences. You know, I, I think I'm really lucky to be honest because I have the best of both worlds. I have an English first name and an Igbo middle name so essentially I get to choose which name I want to use and when I want to use it so if I meet you in a Nigerian setting or you come across as very Niger um it's oh hey my name's Amarachi Alpha but then if I meet you in a professional setting it's oh hi I'm Evelyn <laughs> but then again I think it is so important to be able to switch and change but no I love it Shab because at the end of the day it's not easy it's not easy to grow up in the UK with a difficult name like um, my surname Ogumadu, is is a lot and I'm thankful that I've got an English first name if I'm honest because like people will be like oh Evelyn that's an interesting surname Evelyn how do you say that I remember in um, oh my gosh I remember in primary school I was called iguana which is a I was compared to a reptile Evelyn iguana <laughs> iguana um, and like in award ceremonies it was the worst like in assembly in secondary school like they'll be like John Smith Peter Davis and Sarah Jones um Tom Smith um Evelyn Ug 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 Oh yeah I forget it. Hey, who does that? I was bitterly like, oh man, so shocked, disappointed, embarrassed, everything. Um so yeah, mate, I'm happy that I don't have an Igbo first name. Like I think I think parents like be kind to your children. Chiamaka Amarachi Ugumbadu fine, but when you're in the UK, don't do that. Yeah, I get that you want your children to you know identify somewhere but it doesn't make social interaction easy or pleasant um like if that was me like if my first name was Chiamaka or Amarachi it's like oh uh, just call me Chi Chi and before you know it there's no more Chiamakas or Amarachi it's just Chi Chi um and that's how our names change and I think if I did have um an Igbo name I would abbreviate it like Amarachi would become Chi Chi just like Ijoma became IJ just like Adeze became Daisy you know because I think it just makes life a lot more bearable to be honest it's difficult to go through life when every single person you meet you have an initial battle social awkward moment where you know you spend in the first two minutes trying to teach them how to say your name um so yeah I'm, I'm and you know when I have my children they will have 100% English first names and they will have one Igbo middle name.